Hello, this is Sean with SAP Press, and this video is going to show you how to purchase, activate, and manage one of our subscriptions. To purchase a subscription, you'll first need to log into the website. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to create one. You can log in by going to the upper right of the page and clicking on Login. There are a few different ways you can access our subscription page. The easiest is to click on Subscriptions in the main menu bar. On the subscription page, you'll be able to learn more about the options we have, including our full subscription, which gives you access to all of our ebooks, or one of our numerous topic subscriptions, which provides you access to all ebooks that cover a certain topic. To purchase a subscription, you can use the widget on the right side of the page. Here, you'll go through a handful of steps that will help you configure the subscription the way you want. First, you'll choose the type of subscription you'd like to buy, full or topic. Click Next. Here you can choose how many users you'd like to purchase a subscription for. In this example, let's purchase two seats. Click Next. If you're purchasing a topic subscription, here is where you'll select the topic or topics that you want to buy. If you're buying a full subscription, you won't see this option because you're getting all ebooks. I think I'll go with a FICO subscription. And I'll click Next again. Choose the term you'd like to buy. In my case, I'll pick an annual option and click Next once more. You'll see the total cost appear and an option to add it to your shopping cart. Let's go ahead and do that. Then click through the cart once more. When viewing the shopping cart, you may notice a discount is automatically applied. This is for purchases of more than one subscription, as we provide user discounts for Teams. If you're ready to purchase, go ahead and click Go to Checkout. Here you can select a billing address, shipping address, and payment method. Once all that information has been added, you can click on the Order button. You'll then be shown an order summary and sent two emails. The first email you receive will be a receipt for your records. This is similar to the order summary you just saw on the web page. The second email you'll get contains the license keys you'll need to activate the subscription. Go ahead and copy the key and go to our website once more. On the top of the page, you'll see an option called Library. Click that. In the middle of the screen, you'll see a field Paste the key you copied from the email into this field and click Add eProduct. We've created another video that shows you how to navigate through the e-reader and search for keywords and by topic. You can watch that by clicking on the link in the description. For now, however, we'll focus on managing your subscription. To do this, go back to the SAP Press site and then into your account. On the right side of the page, you'll see an option called Your Subscriptions. Click that to see an overview of all the subscriptions you have. You'll be able to see which keys are being used by which users, which keys are available to use, and more. If you'd like to cancel your subscription, click this button and follow the prompts. When this is complete, you'll be unenrolled from the auto renewal process and you'll be able to continue using your subscription without limitation until the term you purchased has expired. If you change your mind later and want to renew for another term, you can easily undo the cancellation by clicking on the reactivate subscription button and following the prompts. Once this is finished, auto renewal will be enabled once more, and the credit card on file will be billed when the term renews. If you've bought multiple subscription seats for a team, this page is where you can manage users by assigning keys to them or evoking access if, for example, someone leaves the company and you would like to give that subscription to their replacement. To give a key to a colleague, copy the key and send it to them via email or messenger. They can activate their subscription by following the same directions provided earlier in this video. To wrap up, I'll show you how to edit your payment option. You can do this by clicking on the Edit button here, which gives you the option to add a new payment method or select a different existing option should you have one. If you add a new payment method, it will then appear in the dropdown for future use. Now that you know how to activate and manage your subscription in the back end, we can cover how to best utilize your subscription. Check out our video on the e-reader and mobile application by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for your interest in an SAP Press subscription, and happy learning!